On the northern plains, two words denote a legend, Sunfrost. Fold in June 1979, the Palomino Colt was sired by Docs Jack Frost and out of the driftwood Ike Mayer, Prissy Klein, and was bred by Stanley Johnston in Re Heights, South Dakota. Pat Cowan, founder of Cowan Cattle Company, had previously acquired two geldings from Mr. Johnston that proved to stand up to the test of being ranch horses and rodeo horses for the outfit, and served as good references for Pat to find what he needed next. When Dad had a chance to go back to Stanley's and buy a weanling full brother to the Geldings, he jumped at the chance, said Pat's son Ty, who along with brothers Torque and Treg, comprised Cowan's brother's LLC T4 Quarter Horses. Taking the colt to his ranch at Highmore, South Dakota, Pat Cowan started Sunfrost on cattle. In 1981, as a two-year-old, Sunfrost was ridden by Ty to win the regional high school rodeo cutting. Passing his initial tests and panning out as a performance horse, Sunfrost demonstrated even greater promise as a sire. Dad's biggest dream was to raise a good-looking stallion that was fast enough to catch a calf and cowy enough to be a top cutting horse, Ty said in a March 2008 Western Horseman story by Frank Holmes. Standing to a broodmare band rich in Johnston-bred horses, Sunfrost sired one AQHA registered foal in 1982 and seven in 1983. Sunflash Lady and 1983 Sorrel Mare out of a lonesome polecat daughter become her sire's first performer as a National Cutting Horse Association money earner. The stallion's third full crop, numbering 20, hit the ground in 1984. The prefix PC denoted the names of cow and breads showing up as top competitors in ropings, cuttings, and rodeos throughout the country. The crop included PC Boy George, a bay gelding out of a granddaughter of Sunfrost Sire that became a North Dakota high school rodeo pole bending champion, and PC Dox Fox, a sorrel mare out of a granddaughter of Lightning Bar that was an NCHA money earner. The sun was rising on a new era of performance horses. By the mid-1990s, Sunfrost was one of the North Country's most celebrated stallions, his reputation secured by horses such as the phenomenal barrel-racing sire Frenchman's Guy, who was foaled in 1987 out of another granddaughter of Lightning Bar. As a sire of 464 AQHA foals, Sunfrost's progeny accumulated earnings estimated at more than $2.5 million and Grand Get of earnings of more than $20 million. They excelled at every level of competition, not only at AQHA events, but also 4-H, high school, college, amateur, and pro rodeo. Sunfrost died January 22, 2007. The legend drew dozens of letters of recommendation to be included into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. I believe one of the greatest barrel horses to ever live was French Flash Hawk, or Bozo, sired by Sunfrost, says Mel Potter of Marana, Arizona. Watching my world champion barrel racing daughter, Sherry Servi, compete against Bozo and Christy Peterson, along with my prior knowledge and fondness for Sunfrost already, led me to purchase PC Frenchman's Heyday as a two-year-old in 1997. PC Frenchman's Heyday has been a true blessing to my family and breeding program. These bloodlines are valuable to us because we know what we are going to get with every foal, writes Damon Hodges of Hodges Farms at Omaha, Texas. We have found that Sunfrost blood runs deep. You can expect the same traits to carry on through generations. Rock Smith, who ranches in Montana and Alberta and owns PC Bar Docks Frost said, Sunfrost is not only a great sire, but a sire of great sires. His sons have impacted horse programs from Arizona to Canada, and his granget are dominating in rodeo events and ranch programs throughout North America. We are proud to welcome the legendary stallion Sun Frost into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame.